name is Steve. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, why, uh, welcome. Uh, glad you're here. Um, tell you a little bit about, uh, about myself. Uh, I'm retired and uh, have a little uh, shop of my own here that I <clears throat> like to play in every day. Um, we restore old cars, uh, try to anyway, um, and do other things, uh, other projects along the way. Uh, but I have three, uh, three engines here uh, that are out of a early Chevrolet's uh, 14, 15, 16 uh, years. And uh, so I'm trying to put them back together and then put them into the cars. And uh, uh, so it's, it's a slow very slow process and uh, takes a lot of work. Um, I have a few friends that uh, like to come over once a week or twice a week and and uh, help out, and uh, they just like to do it because it's it's uh, new. A lot of things are new for them, and and uh, uh, as well for me too. Um, but discovering new uh, how these old cars were put together and and. Uh, it's kind of a uh, preserving history, you might say. The goal here is to uh, enjoy myself and, uh, and be, be productive at the same time. Uh, trying to find a, a content that uh, I think uh, other people enjoy is a, is a challenge. It's uh, uh, difficult to make these videos, um, especially if you have other people uh, and standing around asking questions, what what they what they should be doing next, is a common uh, question. What do you want me to do now? You have to do these things uh, when I'm alone. A lot of the cool things that we do uh, don't get recorded because I I just uh, don't find it uh, appropriate to try and get all that done uh, with all these. Uh, Folks helping. Uh, with that said, I've got a little project. What we're looking at now is the. Uh, this is the Magneto distributor. The distributor goes on this this end here, but it's driven off the camshaft. The camshaft's back here, and the gears come over, and the oil pump is over here, and then the shaft comes through, and there's a. Uh, oh, I can't think of the name. But there's a, a connection right here that has to be made. <clears throat> and, oop. <laughs> Started bringing it over and it was, fell apart on me. Uh, this is an old piece of leather that's uh, made to, to go in between here. And that allows uh, the connection between uh, the motor and the distributor. So, as you can see, this has outlived its usefulness. So we're going to have to make a couple of new ones. Uh, so uh, we're going to try and do that today. And then one of the other things I might like to try to do, if we have time, <coughs> um, a standard, OK. Um, this is a standard modern bolt, 5 16 uh, standard thread, coarse thread. And this is the same, well, it's a little shorter, but you can see it's just a little bit different. And if we compare the old to the new, you can see here that the head on the old is, is considerably bigger, almost, almost twice, not quite, but almost twice as, uh, as big. So, Using these is okay, but it's not original. And uh, should the car ever be judged, uh, taken to a show and put in uh, a car show, uh, more than likely the judge is going to ding you for using a modern bolt versus the uh, the original. Well, what happens is that the str the threads uh, get damaged, they get, bolts get bent, and so we're going to have to make a couple of new ones. Um, so I'm just going to try and bring you along and maybe we'll uh, 
little single point uh, thread, uh, make some new bolts, uh, new old old stock, I guess you'd call it. So that's the other thing we're going to try and do. So let's get started. Now, this is a uh, big roll of uh, leather. Uh, it's darn near. Uh, got to be, got to be a quarter inch thick if it's anything. That's uh, over, over a quarter inch thick. It's proud to quarter inch. So it's, uh, and this is just squashed down. It, I could go by with a little, little less, but it's almost the same. So, uh, and this will just make it's just, just big enough that I can get new ones out of here. So, in order to, to cut this, I want to make a couple of. Uh, I've got this uh, cutter here, uh, which will do the inside fine. We've got just about perfect on the inside. The outside, I don't have one, so we're going to have to make one for the outside cut. Okay, so let's let's head over to the lathe and uh, get started on. That. Okay, we're over at the uh, Cincinnati lathe, and. Uh, I want to, uh, this is going to be our cutter, so I want to uh, face this off and because uh, you know, the exact size is pretty much the edge up here, but we'll just clean this up and then we'll taper the, the edge to get the cutting surface right. So let me grab a, grab a tool here. So, and take this chuck out of the tail stock. All right, now. <laughs> Sounds bad. Sounds bad right off the start here. Didn't feel like it was cutting it, more like it was grinding. Let's just check this, check this cutter here, make sure it's, it looks, yeah. Not a lot of life left in that, in that one. But let's just check something. I want to uh, make sure our, uh, cutter height is right. Might have got bumped or something along the way. You know, it's pretty close. It shouldn't be a, shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, just a. That should be close enough. But I didn't like the way it was. This just, unless this is really hard stuff, but I don't think it's really hard. <laughs> Maybe we'll just go ahead and change this cutter while we're uh, going to blow out the chips. Uh, let's see which one, which one's it going to be? That feels a little loose, but it, it works it, so I guess we'll go with it. Side looks good. Okay. Okay. All right, let's give it another go. I think I'll slow it down a little bit too. I had it on 700. I think that's probably a little faster than I want to go. So we'll drop it down to 360. Let's see what it does now. Okay. 
that was much better. Raise the cutter up a little bit so I don't drag on the heel. chips out of it. So it's pretty hard stuff. I'm gonna go down a little bit slower. Drop it down to 258 and see what that does. And run the... Actually that's not gonna work like that. Readjust the Cut her to over here. Now if I have to turn the tool holder. That does. Can't see, can you? Okay. Yeah. Let me reposition the camera here. There we go. You can see, but I can't now. <laughs> Feels like we're dragging, so I'm gonna switch cutters and try a different tool post. These uh, Luris lookalikes. Um, are not all that bad, I, I guess. Uh, for the price, you can't really complain too much. Uh, they're so much cheaper. But the drawback, um, I'll just maybe, maybe I'm just behind the times, don't know. But the, uh, uh, these are metric. And my, all my Allurus um, the real Alluris ones are American thread, so I have to use a different tool to keep two tools instead of just one. Not my favorite way to do it, but you know, what can I say? It's a little cheaper. Raise this up a little bit so we're. Well, let me. Bring out my height gauge here and check the let's just check the height here and see how we're doing. Oh uh, yeah, way below, still below. And I'm gonna actually be gonna be a little higher than the center. Okay. Let's see how this works. Got the uh, <clears throat> um, cross feed is uh, 15 degrees, or the compound, I should say, not the cross feed, the compound 15.
remaining. Take them on the side of the cutter now. Let's change this again. Okay. All right. Let's try it again. rough in there. Get a very smooth cut. Huh. I see why. Okay. Alright. And yeah, we're almost out here where we want to be. I think I want to turn this angle a little bit more. See how bad our coolant flies around now. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. Give it a whirl. Let's try that again here. Okay. And a little mark there this time. Baby. There we go. 
I tell you what, these are not bad. Made in USA. Well, that explains everything. Uh, can't read the name. Mid Midwest looks like. Midwest, Mid East, something. Midwest tool. Aluminum, but great. Those are really some nice, nice scissors. Okay. Now we just have to punch this out. And we'll be good. Get a front row seat. And see if we can find a piece of piece of wood that hadn't been too badly deformed here. Okay. said than done, huh? Okay. Okay. There's our our circle. Now we gotta do is punch out the middle. And on this should be a lot easier. Just walk this thing around, making sure I've got it. decided the best way how I want to put those four holes in here. I guess I could use this as a template, but uh, hmm. how should we do that, huh? Okay, we can go uh, a couple different ways. We can guess at it, maybe get the holes in the right spot. So I'm just looking at it here as a uh, I'm just looking at it. They don't look. They don't look to be exactly. Look to be exactly 90 degrees apart. Looks like it's. Looks like these two holes are closer than, than these two holes. So, could just lay it up on the, the middle. All right. Uh, after a little <laughs> cleanup, um, this is a little device that I made a, a couple of years, three, four years ago, I guess now. Um, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, Tom Lipton uh, was the first one I saw to use one of these. And uh, I said, boy, this is really good. So if you haven't checked out Tom's uh, channel, well, it's Ox Tool. And 
he hadn't, he hadn't posted anything recently. He moved to a new shop and had to move in, uh, all of his equipment and everything. A major, a major move. I'd hate to have to try and move again, I tell you. Uh, anyway, um, you want to check his channel out. I, I don't know Tom personally, but uh, I've admired his, uh, his work and uh, uh, seems like a really, really smart fella. So uh, this has worked out real well. Uh, I can put it in the vise. It's just wide enough it'll fit in. If I turn it 90 degrees, it'll drop in between the jaws, and I, I can tilt it different ways. But this, uh, this seems to work real well. It centers up good. Uh, no problem with that. So let's get back to our problem at hand here, which is drilling four holes in this thing. Okay, so um, <clears throat> what I like to do here is put this uh, rotary dial, dial indicator in and uh, see if this is going to work. Uh, of course not. Let's see what we got here. Get the short one out. Comes with a number of different uh, probes. Yeah, let's bring this down. Let's see here. Uh, take it out of gear. And then I can spin this around. And go this way a little bit. Actually, go this way a little bit. Okay, I think that's that's probably gonna work. Bring this down to there. And spin this around. I guess you can see that. Yeah, let's see that, okay. So as this turns, we've never used one. It flies around and does this little doodad thing. So let's just go ahead and uh, we'll put it in low. And we'll slow it down as slow as it'll go. And <clears throat> this, it's worse. Not making any difference on that one. This one's going to be getting better. Uh -huh. One direction should be better than the other. Okay. center it's okay at zero and oh. okay <clears throat> after a quick battery change we're back up and our diameter that's what we got to figure out next <clears throat> 
So... Call it two inches, it looks like. Make it two inches. Uh, looks like our whole quarter inch. Okay, anyway. So we'll make it two inches for our diameter. Okay, so we'll change our diameter to two. And the number of holes, we're going to change that to four. And our starting angle is zero. Our ending angle is 70. Okay, and then uh, number one, move the X over to one inch, or zero, I mean. Back it over here to zero. Close enough, really. There we go. Put our drill chuck in. Well, we could do a couple things. Yeah, I'll put the drill chuck in here. Okay. And I need a quarter inch bit. Okay, so I don't drill through my table. I'm going to set my stop here. <clears throat> okay, so the quill. I'll go up just a and just right about there. Okay, it'll go through the first layer completely and almost through the second layer. So, okay, that was it. Now we just have to go number, number two. So, now we gotta go zero this one. tight <laughs> okay all right I wondered why we were bottoming out so quickly <laughs> okay let's try that one more time <laughs> take two <laughs> let's bring this over to here and uh, where is my church key here there we go that's why I didn't tighten it a while ago I didn't have a church key handy and I'm trying to keep things going along here at a steady pace. <clears throat> okay, I've got the stop set, so I'm just going to bring this down almost to the... There we go. 
Okay, that's good. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do now is we're just going to go in reverse. So I'm going to back this back to zero here. And run it in reverse. Okay, so there's, there's that one. And now, instead of going to number, or to end it, I'm going to go back one. those completed what I'll do is just run a drill through the holes that already started on the bottom piece and that way I'll have two, two ready to go here so there's our first one holes drilled this one the holes drilled but not all the way through yet so I'll just take the Drill out of there and uh, use the handheld and finish those up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 